And as we see COVID-19 cases decline and more people getting vaccinated, more hope that venues downtown and across the city will be able to host events again soon. KVU's Mike Maruf joins us now live from the Long Center downtown to talk about the city's new guidelines to bring events back safely. Hi, Mike. Hey, Quita. So there's going to be more signs of nightlife here in the city of Austin. We're talking more socialization in general. We're talking more concerts. We're talking more special events. But city health leaders say that there are still new rules to follow before we get to the end of the pandemic. In mid-March, this is what we're used to. Thousands of tourists flocking to Austin for South by Southwest and spring break. We estimate that the economic impact for the industry loss has been over one billion dollars in Austin. That hasn't happened since 2019. The Austin Center for Events declined or rescheduled more than 400 event permits over the last year because of the pandemic. Each of those gatherings have different aspects which either increase or decrease risk. But Friday morning, the city announced new guidelines to start bringing events back. For all events, they recommend that organizers have an isolation room for people who show symptoms of COVID-19, a case notification system, and a safety coordinator on site. And every event coordinator would have to fill out a COVID-19 health safety plan. We'll review the information um, to make sure that they are um, adhering to all the requirements of the plan, and then their permit process will continue just like it always has. But some venue owners are wary of opening their doors to the masses. We don't want to contribute to any spreading event. We want to, you know, uh, do the right thing along with the rest of the venues in town and uh, arts and cultural gathering spots uh, that need to do the, the right thing so that we don't spike again. According to the city, the floodgates are not open yet and special events won't start happening again until later this spring. Still, it's a taste of normal. Setting a standard for Austin will just help other events and venues as they come back. Now, the guidelines do go into effect today, but first let's talk enforcement. The city will have people out checking venues during events, and they have to have those health and safety COVID-19 forms turned in with their applications in order to get their events approved. The city's last resort will be fines and citations. Now, we do have a full list of all the guidelines and recommendations for indoor and outdoor venue spaces on our website. That's kview.com. Quita. All right, a lot of people looking forward to that. Mike Maru, live at the Long Center tonight. Mike, thank you.